Wow, Miss Jillian still had me muted. Wow, that was harsh. That's okay. I think I had it muted on there, and I had it muted on there, and I had no power on all at once. So you guys can hear me okay now? Yeah? Okay, good. Nice to see you guys. We're going to throw some dodgeballs. A little bit different setup right now. Okay. Who's going to dodge first? Who's dodging? Okay, Miss Kelly has got it. All right, three, two, one. Oh, right back to me. John, you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> what is that? Just a little lean. Miss Kelly, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Good duck. Mr. John, three, two, one. Excellent. Whoa. James just kicked the dodgeball over here. Ready? Uh, Miss. How come John is over there? Uh, Kelly. There you go, John. James. I went that way. Kalia. John. Henry. <laughs> I literally missed. I just threw it over my shoulder. Ah, hey, Kalia. John. Did I? Well, I was close. Same time, James. Oh, I missed him again. I don't know how many times I'm gonna miss James? Uh, Catalia. <laughs> John. John again. Whoa, missing John. We lost you. Miss Jillian struggling. We're going with Catalia. <laughs> there we go. John! <laughs> Kalia! Excellent! And John! Oh, good. That's like a matrix move, John. Kalia! Woo! John! And James! Got him that time! Oh, what do you mean rebounds? Henry! Oh, I'm, oh, I missed Henry. It's for serious. Can't believe I missed him. He was like right there. Ah, uh, no, can't throw to me. TV and camera there. But I can throw it at you! He blocked it. He's good. He's good. Mr. Joseph is in the house. And Catalina! Good, John. Oh, that one kind of came sharp. Catalia. John. Oh, nice. And John. Excellent, Catalia. Joseph. Boom, shakalaka. Oh. Joseph, you dodge and they got your brother right in the mush. Henry, got him. Totally got him. Totally got him. Whoa. Okay, I got to try and get James. Okay, I'll get you. Oh, he moved. He was too quick. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Time, let's pick up all the dodgeballs, please. Put them back in the bags. Good. Slam dunk for Mr. Henry. You got that other orange one? I'll grab purple. Let's grab a quick drink of water. I am grabbing the purple dodgeball because we are doing purple stripes today for our coordination, knowing our right side and our left side. Thanks, James. You saw that one too? Look at that, eh? Okay. So something that you guys will probably need just to, for one of the games that we're gonna play, which is um, turn and run, you're gonna need two things. 
okay? And it should be cones, it could be pillows, doesn't really matter, but they should be different looking. So I have two different colors, I have orange and blue. Um, if, yeah, that's perfect, two different color cones, cups, doesn't matter, that's awesome. Just set those off to the side for right now. And Mr. James, come on over, dude. You're the TV star. You're gonna stand there. Okay, so th those of you who don't know, this is Mr. James. All right, James, ready? Face TV, you guys ready? Hands by side, cheer. And good yeah, Taekwon. Have a seat down, please. Sit it up nice and tall, close your eyes. All right, let's open those eyes. So again, we're working on our purple stripe today, which is for our coordination, knowing our right side and our left side. We have three games that we're gonna do. One of them is say the side. So if I put up this hand, you've gotta tell me what hand I'm putting up. It's really tough for you guys, because you guys are seeing me on in TV and I'm like reversed. So I put up this hand, it looks like one side, but it's really maybe the other one. Okay, then we're going to play something called turn and run. Remember, that's where we need the two different colored items, whether it's cones, cups, dodgeballs, just two different types of cushions. Does it really matter? Right? We're going to use that. And then block and turn is the other game that we're going to do. And it's going to feel very, very familiar for, well, probably for all of us, because the movements that we're doing, we're actually copying something. And maybe you guys can tell me what it is or your parents can type it into the chat okay well, let's get started let's do our tenants put our hands across our chest and we stand up nice and tall sorry <laughs> i forgot to say that part thanks john <laughs> john's like i'm disgusted with me uh courtesy respect myself and others and hands behind our on our hips integrity honesty with myself and others hands up front perseverance patience never 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 give up Hands behind our back, self-control, control my thoughts, emotions, actions, and results. Hands up really high, indomitable spirit, be guided by my heart. Let's exercise right toes, and then left toes. Stand on one foot, have great balance. Look at Mr. James, that great balance. Other foot, even better balance. Yep, and then knee bends halfway. One, two, three, all the way down. One, two, and three. Circle your knees both ways. Now your hips, hula, 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 both ways. Good, pushing your head forward and relax. Push it to the back, relax. To the right side, to the left side. Forward, back, side, side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Jog on this part, wiggle those hands. Wiggle those arms, draw some crazy circles. Go for it, go for it, and stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lose control on me there. Let's twist our body side to side. You guys got a little bit too crazy there. And relax, feet together. Let's put our elbows on our knees. And try and reach down, touch your toes. Touch the ground. James says touch the ground, okay. Let's straighten our legs, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it. Hold it. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs. Legs are straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Standing tall. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to do some quick review first. Then we'll start playing games. Ready? Dances. Close stance. Open stance, 
sitting stance. Nice. Let's do a left high block. Nice, right high block. Good, left muscle block. Right muscle block. Left low block. Right low block. Left punch. Right punch. And back to close stance. You see what I did right there? Right away, I started practicing our lefts and our rights. I tricked you guys. You didn't even know. You didn't even know I'm so tricky. Are you ready, James? Did you know that? You knew that? Okay, he knew that. Maybe I'm not so tricky. Here we go. This is the game called Say the Side. Okay, now I can't really hear you guys. Okay, but I'm going to say the side. I'm going to put my hand up or I might punch. And I want you guys to say it too. I can't hear you because I have you guys' volumes all muted. And it would just be too noisy if we didn't. But I can read your lips. Okay, what? I can't believe it. Catalina's saying, I can't believe Mr. Rowe. I can't read your lips now. I can't see them. But she's saying, I can't believe you can read my lips, Mr. Rowe. You're kidding me. I can't. Ready? So let's start. Open stance. <laughs> Remember, say it and do it. So I go, right punch. And then you guys have to say, right punch. Good. Yeah, Mr. James has to say it too. Left punch. Left punch. Yeah, that's it. Let's go right muscle block. Excellent. Left high block. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Right low block. Awesome. Let's go. Hmm. Right punch. Oh, I changed that one. Made it a little bit harder. Good. Left muscle block. Uh, how about this one? Right karate chop. How about a left karate chop? Nice. I like the intensity there. Uh, let's go right, low block. Excellent. Left, low block. Okay, okay. I got a question for you now. If I do a hand technique, I want you to give me a thumbs up if it's the right hand or a thumbs down if it's the left hand. Okay, this is really tough because you guys are seeing me sort of in reverse. Okay, so remember, thumbs up is for my right hand. Thumbs down is for my left hand. Okay, so ready, John? You just, you just have to use your thumbs. So if it's my left hand, you go thumbs down. If it's my right hand, you go thumbs up. Ready? And I'm only going to punch. So it's not going to be that, that crazy. Ready? Boom. Which one is that? I see a thumb up, thumb up. Yep, it's my right hand. And again, it's hard to tell sometimes because my, it's my, um, it's in reverse on that side. Ready this one? What's this one? What does James say? He's just doing it with me, okay. Yes, John's right, my left hand, good. How about this one? Got it again? Oh, yep, got it again. And what about this one? Is it my right or my left? Thumb up, thumb up. What do you think, Joseph? Thumb up, I like it, I like it. You guys got it. Okay, so you can, you, again, it's really difficult to see it sometimes through the screen, but you guys did really well with it. Okay, so this next one is called turn and run. So I'm gonna borrow James, and this is where we need our two different color stuff, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually ask James to stand right about there, okay? And face the camera though. Yeah, and then I have my two different colors so you guys can just sort of have your parents spread out the two different things. Okay, I have an orange one and a blue one. But it's not important about the colors. They do help, but what's important is as I tell James, to go to his left, so he turns around, faces the, the object, so he turns around, and he has to run to the one on his left. 
So he has to think, okay, which side is his left? And he's going to go touch that cone. Go, sir. And then he comes right back. Okay. That's it. So parents, you guys are going to be involved in this one a little bit. Okay. Because again, the idea is they have to turn around and go to the side that they are facing. So that's their left or that's their right. Okay, so that makes it a little bit more challenging. Mr. James, I'm going to have you back up, and I'm going to do this three times with you. Come right over this way. Make it a little bit harder. Now we have to run a little bit. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to give you hmm, two minutes. Okay, two minutes. So parents, you're going to work on your own with the child for two minutes while I'm working with James, and you're just going to keep doing it. Now, one of the things that you can actually do to make it more challenging in their brain, because what they're going to do is they're brilliant. They're actually going to just remember the color or the object that are on each side. So if you, at some point, move them around or even change the object, it makes it harder because then they have to really remember their left and the right, not just memorize the color. Okay, so this is something you can do as you make it harder. So again, two minutes, let's play. Mr. James, we're gonna go to your right, please. Good, come on back really fast. And let's go to your right, please. Oh, too easy peasy. Oh, I <laughs> And to your left, please. <laughs> nice. And to your left, please. 100%. And spin around five times. Go fast. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now go to your right, please. Okay. Um, hop on one foot. And go to your right, please. Oh, I almost got you that time. Almost tricked you. Okay, uh, let's have you close your eyes and go to your left. <laughs> hey, peeker. Good work, good work. Okay, one more minute, parents, one more minute. Again, move the objects around. You can even have them spin, like do some donuts right there on the spot. You can have them close their eyes. Something different that's just going to try and occupy their mind, and it makes them really think about their right side and left side. Uh, Mr. James, I'm going to have you uh, do a bear crawl to the left cone, please. Nice. And then right back. Mr. James, I'm going to have you bunny hop to the left cone, please. Is that a bunny hop or a frog hop? <laughs> okay, well, either way, that looks pretty cool. Okay, back you go. 10 more seconds, parents. All right, last one for you, Mr. James. I'm gonna have you run as fast as you can all the way to the blue cone. Oh, I forgot to say right or left. And time, okay. Nice job, so how did you guys do? How did you guys do? Kids, did you find it easy or hard? Give me a thumbs up if it was easy. Give me a thumbs down if it was hard. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Miss Kelly is going a little bit of a thumbs down there. Yeah. You know what? It can be tough sometimes, especially if you start to get your mind preoccupied with something else. Okay? So if your parents were moving stuff around or if you were spinning, uh, it can be tough. So it's good to keep practicing that stuff so that it just becomes second nature. And just so you know, bet you if you ask your parents to do their right side and left side, there'd be times when they would struggle with it too, right? So don't think that we're always going to memorize it because it doesn't always happen. Yes, and if they were further away, you could run faster. I was going to move the cones around, but then I realized that James is right facing the TV, and he can see that I'm moving stuff around, so I didn't actually move mine around. Okay, we're going to grab a quick drink of water, and then come right back. we got one more block, or one more game to do. Turn and block, and you're going to, again, feel that this one is so familiar. You're going to know exactly what we're doing. Nice job, Mr. Joseph. Those are good practice kicks. Plunk, plunk. Everything's picked up. John's got his helper in again. That's good. Making sure he's working hard. Yep, make sure he works hard, okay? That's it. 
Okay, everybody's back. Let's stand up nice and tall, please. Ready, Joseph? Standing tall, open stance. Okay, here's the game. Turn and block. So I'm gonna say, turn to our left and do a low block with your left hand. So whatever direction I say, we're always gonna use that hand. So if I say, turn to your left, you gotta use your left hand to do your low block. If I said, turn to the right, you gotta use your right hand to do your low block. Ready? So we're gonna start, go to your left, turn, and then do your low block. To your left. That's it, then come back. Oh, well, wait a minute. Remember, if you turn to the left, you have to use your left hand to block. If you turn to the right, we have to use our right hand to block. So let's do this. Let's go to our right and do your low block with your right hand. That's it. So Mr. John, you gotta face the other direction. You gotta go to your right and make sure you're using your right hand to block. Okay, oh, your other right hand, John. That's the one, and come back to center. Ready? We go to our left and do a low block. Excellent. Then go to your right and do a low block. Nice. Make sure your right foot is forward as well. I didn't tell you that part, but we're going to make it like that too. Okay, come back. Let's do it again. So what does it feel like? Does it feel like something you've done before? Go to the left, do a low block. Aha, uh -huh. Mr. James figured it out. It's like Chunji the pattern. Okay, then come back to center. And let's go to our right and do a low block. Good, then back to center. So now we're gonna add a step and a punch. So let's do our first low block going to our left. Ready, Joseph? To your left, low block with your left hand. Good, then we're gonna step forward with our right foot and we're gonna punch with our right hand. That's it. Now let's turn all the way around to our right and do a right low block. Then we step forward and punch with our left hand. Good, come on back. Okay, does it feel like it? Does it feel like Chunji the pattern? Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm, sort of tricking you, not that I have to trick you guys to do your pattern, but I'm teaching the pattern in a way that hopefully connects some of those dots. Let's do it again, ready? Open stance, and we go to our left, left low block. Good, then we step forward and punch with our right hand. Now, go back to center, and then go to the other side, right low block, and step forward and punch with your left hand. Good, now turn back to center. Yeah, nice work. Okay, so let's try doing Chunji the pattern. Okay, so we're gonna do eight moves of Chunji. So I know Kelly, I know you can go all the way through. John, I know you can go all the way through. Okay, James, I think you can do it also. But we're gonna just do eight moves of Chunji. Just the first eight, I know. One move for every year you guys are alive plus two or three moves. Ready? We go to our left, low block with our left hand, one. Make sure we're using our left hand. Mr. James, is that your left hand? Thank you. Then we step forward and punch with our right. Then we follow our right pinky and we go all the way around. Got to spin the other way. All the way around and we go to our right, right low block. Right low block. Then we step forward and punch with our left. Good, and we go to the front, go to your left, low block with your left hand. Right towards the camera, James, or John. That's it, then step forward and punch with your right. Good, and then you're gonna follow your pinky and spin all the way around to the back, low block. And then we step forward, change your feet. And we step forward and punch with our left. And then we come back. Easy peasy, yes? Okay, so we're gonna do a quick spotlight. Everybody else take one knee down, please. One knee down, position number two. Position number two. Thank you, sir. Thank you, okay. 
So I would like to spotlight Miss Catalia. Okay. So there she is. That's Miss Catalia. Catalia is going to do Chunji the pattern for us. So this is just the same thing that we were practicing. Um, and she's going to go as many movements as you can, Miss Catalia. If you want to go all the way through it, you do all the way through. Okay. And she's up. And that's where it changes. Good. Muscle blocks. Chunji. Oh, got to back up one by one punch. And back up one more punch. Chunji. Now we yell it. Chunji. Oh, and we come back. Nice work. Excellent job, excellent job. So there's a pattern inside of the pattern, the pattern of all the blocks and punches that Miss, please take position number two. Thank you, sir. That Miss Catalia just did, but there's also the pattern of using your right side and left side. So we go left, then right, right, then left, left, right, right, left. So there's a pattern inside of a pattern, and that sometimes can just help us remember which side we want to use. But remember all the practice we did to try and work on our right side and left side, even being a little bit confused, that's when we can do it under pressure, okay? So the more you can do that, the better your patterns will be. So your homework is to send me a video of your pattern, Chunji. Okay, so it could be four moves. It could be eight moves. If you want to send me the entire video, I'd love to see it. Okay, you can either send it through email or through Facebook. And remember, start open stance and just go through that pattern of Chunji. Ah, yes, even Mr. James has to do it. Okay, uh, now, one thing to remember, no classes on Monday because it's Victoria Day long weekend. Okay, so there's no classes on Monday, either online or in person. Okay, so let's do our breathing exercise, stand up nice and tall. We're gonna finish off class, put your hands together, rub them smoking hot. Are they smoking? Oh, James is making a fire. Five, four, three, two, one. And you breathe in, love, family, enthusiasm, romance, desire, faith, hope, passion, and vision in, out of your body, fear, Worry, anxiety, hatred, revenge, negative thinking, superstition, and blame. All good things in. Anything I don't need, I just let it go. And I breathe in love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for myself. And I breathe out love, compassion, forgiveness, abundance, courage, and encouragement for everyone we come in contact with. Thank you, Miss Catalia. All right, everybody, face in the front, and we say chitty it. Awesome. Sorry, one more thing that we're doing, belt testing from the 25th to the 28th. We're either going to do it here at Quest or we'll do it online just like this and then we will come and present you with your belt and your certificate the day after. Okay? That's the plan. So that's from the 25th to the 28th of this month. All right, you guys. Oh. One big high five, three, two, one, bang. James and I go forward. Nice job. All right. Have a good rest of your day. See you next time. Bye, John. Bye, Miss Catalia. Bye, Joseph.